Hi, I'm Ian Cole, bringing you an IEQA tech tip on carbon dioxide and ventilation, part two. In the first installment, I conveyed the importance of measuring carbon dioxide when occupancy is at the highest, ventilation is at the lowest, and an equilibrium has been reached. In this second part, I'll describe how to interpret the carbon dioxide levels, which are measured in parts per million, or PPM for short. The global average of carbon dioxide is around 400 ppm. I like to start my assessments by measuring the CO2 outside the building. Nearby combustion sources may drive the local outdoor concentration higher than the global average of 400 ppm. The CO2 concentrations inside occupied buildings will exceed the outdoor levels. If we subtract the outdoor background concentration from the indoor concentration, we'll be left with what I call the indoor contribution. Mass balance equations can be used to relate an indoor contribution of 700 parts per million with an often quoted rule of thumb ventilation rate of 15 cubic feet per minute per person. In other words, if the indoor CO2 concentration is 1100 parts per million and we subtract the outdoor concentration of 400, we have an indoor contribution of 700 which roughly correlates to the rule of thumb I referenced. If your CO2 exceeds 1100 indoors in this example, the building's not getting the rule of thumb ventilation amount. Unfortunately, the rule of thumb ventilation rate of 15 CFM per person isn't universally accepted. One reason is that it only considers the number of people rather than the size of the space. Other consultants try to simplify their interpretation by recommending that buildings simply stay below 1,000 parts per million of CO2. A small study recently corroborated this approach by showing that carbon dioxide may have direct effects on decision making. If you'd like to learn more about using carbon dioxide to approximate ventilation, consider taking the IAQA University class titled Assessing Ventilation and Pressurization. Visit the IAQA website for more information.